Formatting operations on a table. As you saw in the previous section, you can place tables in MicroStation using the Place Table tool. Once placed, you can perform formatting operations on a table. If you have ever worked with Microsoft Excel, then your experience will be very similar with tables in MicroStation Connect. In this section, you will learn to delete rows, set text alignment, adjust width of columns, and change textiles within a cell. Continue in the sheet index DGN file from the DGN roadway folder of the SR20 project. Make the edit text tool active and identify the text element drawing sheet index. In the text editor, change the textile to civil proposed and make sure that the justification is set to middle center. Issue a data point into the view to commit the change. Make the element selection tool active and then identify the table. Take note of the table contextual tab along the ribbon when you selected the table. Select column B, sheet number, and make it center justified. With column B still selected, enter 0.7 into the width field. Select column A and make the width 1.1. Select column C and make the width 3.0. As it is, the table's vertical length extends outside the border. You can break or split a table into two or more tables using the table break settings. When you select a table, the Add Table Break icon appears at the bottom of the table. Click the Add Table Break arrow at the bottom and drag your cursor just inside the area of the border. With the table still selected, open the Properties dialog. From the Properties dialog, in the top pane, ensure that Elements or Table is selected. Then, in the Breaks category, set Repeat Headers to Yes. Next, select all the cells in the folder name column that contain the name General. As a hint, left click and hold on cell A3 and drag. Then choose Merge Cells. Now that you have merged the cells for the general folder, repeat this step for the other folders Survey, Utilities, and ENS. Details, Typicals. Roadway plans, drainage plans profiles. and drainage details.
Since you placed the table from a report and the Retain Association option was turned on, any changes made to the report can be updated in your table from the Refresh Table from Data icon or by using this procedure. Select the table. The row and column headings display. On the top left corner, above the row headings, right click and select Refresh from Data Source. In this section, you learn to delete rows, set text alignment, adjust width of columns, and change textiles within a cell. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.